Wait, are you getting static now? No, it's playing to me. Howdy. Howdy. They are undefeated at halftime, the Fighting Texas Aggie Band. Thank you for being here. To our yell leaders, thank you for being here. To all of you in attendance this afternoon, thank you for being here. I'm Andrew Monaco, the voice of the Aggies. Very pleased to be here. What an exciting afternoon, that is for sure. I would like to introduce some of our distinguished guests to this event, beginning with the Texas A&M University Board of Regents member, Sam Torn. <laughs> Texas A&M University Board of Regents member, Jay Graham. <laughs> Texas A&M University System Chancellor, John Sharp. 12th Man Foundation Board of Trustees. <laughs> Former Texas A&M football coach R.C. Slocum and his wife now. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to welcome to this podium Texas A&M Interim President Mark A. Welsh III for some brief remarks.
Howdy. Howdy. And Andrew, thank you for being here and uh, bringing the voice of Aggie Land to this great gathering this afternoon. Um, let me start by saying thank you to our interim head coach, Elijah Robinson. Um, <laughs> I don't know how all of you felt about this, but um, I, I saw him bring the joy back to Aggie football. I saw the, the team, the great athletes we have on that football team, playing incredibly hard for their coach. Uh, I just want Coach Robinson to know that he and the players made all of us very, very proud. Thank you, sir. which in these divisive times is a really, really good thing in my mind. And nowhere is that more evident than in Kyle Field on a fall Saturday afternoon or morning <laughs> or evening, <laughs> which is why today is so important to our university and to Aggies everywhere. I'd like to offer my thanks to our athletic director, Ross Bjork, and executive deputy athletic director, Justin Moore, for organizing this search, for their extreme diligence in vetting candidates and for the detailed analysis that supported discussions around each potential candidate. I'd also like to thank Coach R.C. Slocum, still the winningest coach in the history of Texas A&M. <laughs> for the insight that R.C. offered to Ross, and especially to me, as the process hit the adrenaline rush stage. R.C., thank you. And one final thank you to the staff, the donors, uh, the chairman, and the great CEO, Travis Dabney for making greatness possible in Aggie athletics in general. It turns out that hiring a top tier major college football coach is complicated. <laughs> it's hard and it's a little bit scary for the people trying to organize the search. And let me just share a couple of lessons that I personally learned because I've never done this before or watched it being done. The first one is you can't make everyone happy. Really important lesson to remember. The second one is that the rumor mill is stupendous. <laughs> the third one is that facts are sometimes optional on social media. And the fourth one is that nothing is final until it's final. The search also reminded me of the passion that surrounds Aggie football. And while it can sometimes be inconvenient to work through, some people tell me, in the big scheme of things, it is a gigantic plus for a and football and for every other sport. You know, on Thanksgiving Day, uh, I spent some time with my family and I was reminded that no matter how you choose to mix the ingredients, the best thing about baking a cake is what comes out of the oven. And the best thing about the process we went through is that Mike Elko is sitting right there. and that the Aggies have a proven world-class football coach. 25 years of coaching experience, about a third of that in the toughest conferences in America. He's a proven winner, he's a proven head coach, and all of us have seen what he can do. During his four years as defensive coordinator at a and we watched his defense lead us to a 34-13 and record in four consecutive bowl games. You know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like you, I'm, I'm an, enough of a football fan that I should probably be a head coach somewhere. <laughs> or, or at least a coordinator. <laughs> but I've always thought that if you're going to measure the success of a defensive coach, scoring defense was the bottom line. And in his final year as D.C. here in Aggieland, his defense ranked number three in the nation in that category. The guy can flat out coach. And he proved it to everyone in the country as a head coach for the last two years at Duke. Not long ago, Interim Coach Robinson made a comment uh, that I thought was spectacular. He mentioned that when he talks to Aggie recruits, 
as he tries to talk to him about the value of Texas A&M or the, the wisdom of leaving Texas A&M, he mentions to him that this is a 40-year decision, not a four-year decision. Coach, that was brilliant. I know Coach Elko feels exactly the same about that because he understands the power of the Aggie network and he understands the positive influence it will have on his players literally forever. He also understands the power of engagement with Aggie fans, with supporters, with former students, and with his colleagues here on campus. I know that because he told me that, and I believed him. And he fully understands the passion and the pride Aggies feel about a well-led, well-coached, eh, okay, and well-ranked <laughs> football program, and he took the job anyway. And coach, we are very lucky and grateful that you did. To you, Michelle, and your entire family, and on behalf of everyone at Texas A&M University, welcome home and beat the hell out of everybody. <laughs>
recruit and acquire elite, elite NFL-type talent, play great offense and score a lot of points with a high-level quarterback. Those are the ingredients that we researched. So here, here's the process. First, I want to thank all those who helped along the way. President Welsh, I think, um, I think I talked to you more than I talked to my family in the last couple of weeks. Our phones were attached to our ears. He was a tremendous resource. And just talking about leadership and, and culture and those things. Chancellor Sharp, our Board of Regents, thank you for all of your support. Our advisory group that President Welsh mentioned, Justin is over here, RC, uh, Travis Dabney, all, all of the, the resources that we had understand football, Texas A&M, and finances. We need all those ingredients to be successful um, in this process. I also want to thank our search firm, Turnkey Sports, and Chad Chatlos for assisting us in our process. Coach Slocum, he, his counsel, his advice, he's beloved by our community, I, and I want to personally acknowledge you once again, Coach, for everything that you do for Texas A&M. And Justin, Justin likes to use the word elite a lot. And so he knows what elite football operations looks like and, and should look like. And so he was a rock during the process. So given the time that we had, or, or no time, or no sleep, if you will, we engaged close to 30 coaches in our process, either directly or indirectly through our search firm, through their agents, or directly with the coach and our search firm. It was actually great to hear the validation of how people view Texas A&M football. That process helped crystallize the identity of our ideal candidate and why we had major interest from sitting head coaches across the country. The fun part for me actually was being able to speak to at least 25 former Aggie football players. We have former players who are coaching in the NFL as head coaches, as assistant coaches, players that are connected in the game of football. And the feedback from them is really consistent. This is, this is really, really fascinating. Here's what they identified. They see the opportunity. They want to win championships. They want a tough-minded program. In fact, one of them said, I want to be the intimidating bully of college football. And that actually came from an offensive player. They want a program that they can say, this is what Aggie football is, an identity. They want a program that develops, develops players each year. They want a program they can be proud of when they have that Aggie ring and a program that embraces the Aggie traditions. So I appreciate this perspective, and obviously that matches Coach Mike Elko. The other thing it matches is when is Kyle Field at its best? When is Kyle Field at its best? When the defense plays at an elite level. So all of those things match what we were looking for. So given all of this, we got it right. We got it right. Coach Mike Elko is a modern day and innovative football coach with a blue collar mentality. That fits perfectly here at Texas A&M. He played the game. He says he wasn't very good, but I, I don't, I'm not sure about that. He got an Ivy League education. He then paid his dues by working all over college football and now has head coaching experience at a high level. This great game of football and the opportunities presented to him, they mean something personally to him and his family. Those are the ingredients that I saw firsthand when he was here before. Coach Elko is also viewed as one of the best leaders in college football, a leader who's on the cutting edge, a leader who develops his staff as to be great leaders and coaches, a leader who's constantly learning, a leader who's already a voice in this modern era of college athletics. And to top it off, he's one of the best football IQs in the coaching world. He possesses a great vision for Aggie football, a specific plan for innovation and greatness, which is exactly what we need right now to compete in the SEC and to compete for championships. So please welcome back Michelle, Caitlin, Andrew, and Michael, and especially your new head football coach, Mike Elko. Showing off my uh, innovative skills here with the iPad on the uh, 
press conference. Howdy. Howdy. I, uh, let's do that one more time. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah. I, uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to be back at this great institution. Um, this place was so special to me the last time was, I was here. Uh, we made so many fond, special memories of this place. Um, I couldn't be more thankful to be back, to see so many familiar faces in the crowd. Um, it's just, it's an awesome day. It's an awesome day for me and my family. Um, I want to start with a bunch of thank yous, because I think those are, those are really important. First of all, thank you to Chancellor John Sharp and the Board of Regents. today um, to President Price and Nina King for giving me an opportunity to lead a tremendous program at Duke University and resourcing me and providing me the opportunity to do the things that we did there that created um, this opportunity for me. Um, to a couple special groups, first of all to the Texas High School Coaches Association. Okay, I understand our role in representing this great, of, this great state of high school football. The talent, yeah, give it a round of applause. The talent in this state, the programs in this state, the coaching in this state, it is absolutely elite. And we understand our role in partnering with that group and becoming a resource for all the elite and all the aspiring high school coaches in this state. We will connect with them, we will reach out to them, we will be open to them, and they will always have a place in our program. To the former players, okay, this is and forever will be your program. I see some of them out here. I've had so many of them reach out to me today, uh, congratulating me, thanking me, all of that. Um, this is your program. I am a steward of your program. Uh, it is my job to provide the leadership and the vision to take what you have led your blood, sweat, and tears into to new levels and new heights. And I take a lot of responsibility and a lot of pride in doing that the right way. Good, made it through that. <laughs> All right. I'm back. I'm back in Aggie Land. I'm back where I belong. Uh, I'm back at a place where we considered home for four amazing years of this coaching journey. Um, this is a special time to be the leader of this great football program. 
From the moment I came down here back in 2018, I've been blown away by this place, okay? Resourced as the premier football program in the country. Supported by the 12th man, the absolute best fan base in the country. A football program and university rooted in tradition that links all of our former students like no other university across this great nation. Okay, I was told very early on here in my time that Aggies take care of Aggies. And since then, I've seen that play out time and time again. This place is special. The people that have been through here is special. We are gonna continue to do special things. My vision for this program is very simple. Okay, we are going to build the premier football program in the country. Okay, we are not gonna talk about it anymore. We are gonna be about it. We are gonna chase excellence in every aspect of our life. We are gonna be excellent in the classroom. We are gonna earn degrees. We are gonna get our Aggie rings. We are gonna become great members of this great university. We are gonna be excellent in the community. Okay, we will be selfless service like this university stands for. We will get out in the community. We will represent this university with pride. We will make choices that represent